Check, 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 check. This is a mic check. Real mic check. Mic check, mic check, mic check.
<clears throat> Welcome to Mission Bay High School on a Saturday, a gloomy s- Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Here at Mission Bay High School, we have San Diego Internacional versus East Lake Soccer FC. The reigning defending champions, East Lake Soccer FC, still undefeated in the season. Three games played, two wins, one draw against first place San Diego Internacional with three wins and one loss. As the Inters still undefeated here at home, and East Lake Soccer is looking to take that away from them. My name is Alejandro El Chiva Villasenor from San Diego Punto Football and Two Balls and a Mic Podcast here doing your live commentary for this game tonight. My good friend Tony Sanchez not available tonight as he is at Pechanga Arena covering the San Diego Soccer versus the Chihuahua Savage on the Western Conference Finals second leg. Nonetheless, we're going to be here with a good match. This is probably the match of the season for San Diego Internacional. This is the one game that they need to win in order to have a spot in the playoffs, in order to fight for a championship this season. And the commentary today will vary from English to Spanish, some Spanglish. Guess it's just me today, and I get to do it how I want. Starting 11 for SD Sinter on goal, we have Austin Kosi. Evan, out injured with a concussion, should be out for a couple more weeks. On the right back, we have Eric Lyons. Center backs, we have Cash Rubin and Brent Suniga at the left back position. We have one of the OGs, Pedro Godomar. Pairing at the center mid position, we got Ernesto and Danny Strokis. Center attacking mid is Kevin Capas. Right wing, we have Andrew V. Left wing, we got Ali. And at striker, we have the top scorer with five goals, Luke the Juke Riley. And East Lake Soccer League had an undefeated season last season. It was their first year joining the UPSL SoCal Premier Division, and they ended up winning it the first season. Taking the title away from SD Inter, SD Inter's looking to get that back. Coach Matty Powell Powell talk first year taking over this team, was a player, was an assistant, now the head coach. And we are live with the game. We got Castro being here with the ball, passing it over to Brent Suniga. Moves it over to Eric Lyons. Eric to Daniel. Trying to get Andrew there. And it's still under as the Inter ball. East Lake soccer player is arguing why it wasn't their ball. And they are returning the call for East Lake soccer to have the ball on the throw in. Long throw in here. Brand on the coverage. Pass it back to number three. Daniel Stroke is winning the ball here for SD Inter. Back to Eric. Back to Brand. Trying to get possession over. Now to Kazrubin again. Here comes as the Inter. Daniel Stroke is with some space. Gives it to Luke. Luke tries to send it through. Great interception on the center back. Back to the goalkeeper. Now he's like soccer looking to settle back down, try to get possession of this ball. As the Inter again, very calmly, not trying to pressure too high up yet. We got a long ball, lost possession. Ball's going to go to SD Inter on a throw in. Taking the throw in. Over to Luke Riley. That one, two with Luke. Luke takes on two, takes on three, passes it back. Oli taking on one, taking on two as well. Ball gets deflected and easily has the possession again. Good switch here for East Lake. Lots of space to open up on this left side. Number 13 keeps going with the ball, getting the space, taking it up the field. Takes on one. Andrew with the defense. 
clearance goes, but Austin, the goalkeeper for SD Inter, gets the ball now. This is probably the first game in a while where SD Inter does not have Evan Stoll on goal. It'll be interesting to see how the back line communicates with Austin. Surely they've practiced all week together. Come to East Lake taking possession again. Daniel Strakas intercepts at Eric Lyons, tries to settle down to Andrew, back to Brand, getting pressured on. Clears it up. Luke trying to win it. Goalkeeper saying the Epa, trying to get the foul called. Brand with the interception, giving it away though. Good cut in. Passes it through, and San Diego Inter with the interception again. This game is going back and forth with possession. No team has kind of settled the dominance on possession just yet. Mistake here from Pedro Godomar. Passes it away. Here comes a chance. Too long of a pass, and it's going to be a goal kick for SD Inter. And that should be a little bit of a wake-up call for San Diego Inter. Making those mistakes, you cannot do those, especially against a team like East Lake. As the Inter plays it short with Brandt. Pase corto. Otra vez la roba East Lake la tiene. And it's going to be those little mistakes from SD Inter that they cannot afford to make. And East Lake has to take advantage of that if they want to get an early lead. Brand with the clearance again. And it's going to be Andrew winning that. And we know Andrew's got speed. Andrew on a one-on-one. -on -one. Cuts in. Passes it to Luke. And it's going to be a corner kick given for San Diego Inter. Here comes the corner kick for San Diego Internacional. Could be a good chance for them. Clearance from the defender. And it's going to be a throw in for San Diego Internacional on the other side of the field. San Diego Internacional is really looking for an early goal here. Would give them a bit of a reassurance in a game that they might not be the most confident in. Here, Daniel Stroke is taking the ball, passes it back to Brandt. Brand opens up for Eric Lyons. Eric looking for Andrew. Gets Andrew. Andrew tries to win it with speed. It's not going to be enough. And it's going to be a throw in for San Diego Inter. Comes Eric Lyons with the throw in. Gets the push in, loses it inside the box. Here comes the clearance. Pedro Godomar with possession of the ball now. Pass it to Ali. Pedro Godomar with the cross inside. Gets deflected. Here comes the stop. Here comes the shot. Great shot. Stayed by the goalkeeper. Gets the second rebound. And now faces off against Luke Riley. Trying to win the ball. Oh, what a, an amazing save from the goalkeeper for East Lake Soccer League. Some conversations with the ref and Luke. Luke's trying to win the ball. Luke's talking with the ref, saying that the goalkeeper kicked him. Despite what happened, the ball was inside the small box, and we know the rule inside the small box. You did not touch the goalkeeper. That's why the goalkeeper got very upset at Luke. But it was just a foul, and the game goes on. Great shot by SD Inter with a shot on target. Luke 
Great through ball, and Brand Suniga with the clearance again. Brand Suniga really the definition of a true captain. Well, as as the Inter here trying to defend and not really pressuring too high up, giving East Lake Soccer League the respect that they serve. Coach Matty Pal Palzak knows they can punish you from any different side. Good cut in. Ref calls the foul. It's going to come a set piece for East Lake Soccer. Good chance for them. Seem to have some tall players in that box as well. Here comes a cross. Wide open. Takes a shot. Deflected. Over to the side. It's going to be a goal kick for San Diego Internacional. Great cross in. Had the space. Couldn't connect great with the ball. Leads to a goal kick for San Diego Inter. Ten, min 10 minutes into this game, and so far it's been pretty even. I think the best chance has gone for San Diego Internacional with that shot outside the box. Daniel Stroke is almost losing it here. Pass it to Brandt. He's like soccer again with the winning the ball. Here comes a long ball over to 13, the left back. Passes it short. Luke Riley dropping back to defend, winning the ball again. Passes it to Daniel. Daniel losing it in a spot you don't want to lose. Here comes the shot. Passes right by the goalkeeper's goal into a goal kick again for San Diego Internacional. Passes short to Daniel. Daniel again passing it back to Brent. Daniel with a couple mistakes early in this game. Back to Austin. Here comes Brent. Brent's going to send the long ball in over to Luke. Luke with the 1-2 touch to Eric Lyons. Eric loses it, but it's Andrew trying to win it. Andrew wins it again. Passing over to Pedro. Kevin, my bad. Kevin to Andrew. Andrew tries to win it. Eric fighting for it now. Ball goes to East Lake Soccer again. And here comes the possession winning again for East Lake Soccer. Backline. Now here comes a high pressure from Luke Riley. Switch aside. And great defending there from Pedro Guadalmar. He's like soccer, telling his players to push up with the ball. Take advantage of those spaces. Kevin there with the high pressure now. Looks like him and Luke are switching off and off on who the striker is in the center attacking mid. Here come these legs. See if they can get out of this pressure. And they could not unless the Inter's high press led to a throw in for them in the upper third of the field. Push from the back. The ref calls a foul, and it's going to be a good chance for San Diego Inter to make something happen here. Coach Matting sending the tall boys going up. You got Daniel Strzok is up there. Brent soon you guys up there. We know he got hops. Here comes the play. 
Low shot is deflected by the wall. Goalkeeper yells at his team to push up, get everyone out of those lines. As the Inter with the ball, Cash for being in the back. Sends it up over to Daniel Strokis, who is not going to get there. Seems like a chance wasted for San Diego Internacional. And we're getting close to the first 15 minutes of the match. Here comes the throw in. Pedrito Godomar winning it there to Castro Bean back. Over to Ernesto, number 22. Comes a foul called by the referee. Looks like it's going to go against San Diego Inter. Another long ball over here. Good chance for East Lake Soccer. Back to the goalkeeper. Opens it up wide left. Great ball through, but it's going to be Branson yeah, winning it. You ever have car troubles? Ever get down on the freeway and then your engine line turns on? Well, don't worry because PB European Imports got you covered. Any type of vehicle, check out PB European Imports. Let them know that San Diego Football and Two Balls and a Mic sent you over. Coach Alex will take care of you with PB and European imports. Cash Rubin takes the ball up. Goes through over. Now it's Luke Riley losing the ball. Great defending there. Brent winning the ball. Kicks it up again. Great chance here for East Lake. Cuts it back. Pass it to number eight. Cuts in. We're going to have a foul here. Foul is number 22, Ernie Ernesto. It's a good chance for East Lake Soccer to take the lead. Still very early into this first half. Comes a set piece. Good low cross in. Dano struck his, lowers his head to clear it out. Ball still up in the air. Gets the clearance. Ball's going out. Pedro Godomar, nice with the great header clearance. Passes it back to the goalkeeper. Says, I don't want any trouble. Let's play it back. And let's resettle. Passes it over on the left side. Long ball through again. Ransun, you guys very good at those and winning those battles. Gets the ball and then clears it out again, giving SD Inter a bit of time to settle back down. If East Lake Soccer League strategy is going to be the long balls, they're in for the money. Ransun, you guys probably the best defender in this league at winning those long balls. Coach telling his teammates, get in the box. There's no offsides. It's a throw-in, so it looks like it's going to be a cross from this throw-in. I'm personally not a fan of those long throw-ins as a cross. I don't think they have enough force, but he's like soccer here having the chance. Passes it inside, takes the shot, and it goes wide right. It's going to be a goal kick for San Diego Inter. So far, pretty entertaining nil-nil. Again, the most dangerous chance has to go to San Diego Inter. Brent Zuniga sending the ball up, looking for Luke Riley. Luke trying to win it. No foul. The ref says play on. The... Never mind. The ref calls the foul now.
talks to Luke and is going to be the first yellow card of the game going over to Luke Riley. Pretty early into the match, had already had a few conversations with Luke, now says no more. Here comes the yellow card. Some may say a bit of a soft yellow. Game resumes now. Now we have the first yellow card into the game going to San Diego Internacional. Daniel Strzok is going in strong, asking that he won the ball. Rev disagrees. Throw in for East Lake Soccer. Here comes the throw in. Trying to win the wings. Cuts in. Has pace. Number nine goes for the shot. Great shot. Great block by Austin. It's going to be a corner kick for East Lake Soccer. That's the first real test that Austin has this game and does well with both hands blocking that shot. Asking his defenders to try to clear those spaces to avoid those shots going through. But as the Inter hanging on there with that shot, both teams with a shot on target now. Here comes the corner kick for East Lake Soccer. Sends it a little over, over, over. Le puso mucha salsa a esos tacos. It's going to be a throw in for San Diego Internacional. Comes a throw and Kevin moving in. Passes it to Luke. Great back heel. Luke takes on one. Has the space. Looks for someone on the, on the left right side. Switches over to Andrew. Goalkeeper comes out and wins the ball now. Great try by Luke. Andrew again, but getting juked out by the defender. Brent Zuniga wins the ball here. Eric Lyon passes it. Daniel Strokis doesn't get out the way. He's like, soccer was asking for a foul there, saying Ernie went with studs up. That's not the case, the referee says. Castro being winning it again. Daniel Strokas passes it to Ernie. Ernie cuts in, almost losing the ball here. Back to Cass. Danny again, finding Brandt. Eric Lyons looks for the long ball, doesn't get it. Best contact as the Inter asking for a handball, and the referee does not give it. We got to talk about a player that's constantly changing positions. We got to talk about Daniel Strokas. We've seen him up on top. We've seen him at the center back. We've seen him at the center mid. And now we see him at the center mid position once more. Adjusting a little different this time. A couple mistakes. Great pass here for Eastlake Soccer. He's going to have a shot. Great shot and a goal! Goal! Eastlake Soccer FC. You get the first one of the game. 21 minutes into the match. And it's going to go to Eastlake Soccer. Again, all this could have been avoided if had the ref called that handball that wasn't called. Now, Maddie stands up from his chair, giving instructions to Andrew, telling him, hey, if you have to pass back, pass it back. We get the first one of the match, 1-0, East Lake Soccer over San Diego Internacional. Here comes Brent with the ball, passes it over to Daniel. Daniel again, not the best pass. Daniel, not the sharpest tonight. Comes the clearance from Cass. Andrew trying to fight for it. Goalkeeper. Con calma. Drops it now. Waiting for someone to go up and pressure. Waiting till Luke applies some pressure. Passes it over to the right. 
Here comes a long ball over. Cass can't win, and it's going to be another chance for Eastlake Soccer. Another chance and another goal! Goal! For Eastlake Soccer. Back-to-back -back goals, not the best from San Diego Internacional. Cass Rubin couldn't get there on that play. Creating another chance for Eastlake East Soccer. Who are out now up 2-0. You hear Captain Brent Suniga telling his teammates to get their head in it. That's what a captain does, trying to motivate everyone despite going down 2 nothing in a matter of minutes. All he asking for the ball from Danny. Danny sends it a little late. And if he's like getting another one in, maybe Manny Palpalotox looking to make some early substitutions. Over on the bench, you see players like Alessandro, who can definitely change this game as well. So Griffin also, who could maybe play in that center mid position. Ball went out. It's going to be a throw in for San Diego Inter. Colomar over to Ernie. Ernie switches it to Eric Lyons. Eric over to Andrew. Back to Brandt. Daniel with the ball again. Sends the ball over. Luke wins the ball, trying to take on the world. Back to Pedro. Pedro, back to Danny. Danny's a little off with this passing. Tries to press up again. Wins the ball over. And is going to go to the goalkeeper's hands. And a struggling Daniel stroke is jogging back after pressuring up. Here comes space on the left side for, for Eastlake. And right now is where Eastlake can take advantage of San Diego Inter. What you don't want to do if you're San Diego Inter is lose your heads early into this match. You still have a whole second half. You still have 20 minutes left into this first half. We've seen bigger comebacks from a 2 nothing, But you cannot do it if you lose your heads early. Long throw in here for Eastlake. Brent Sweeney, guys, the one that headers out into the hands of Austin. Plays it safe. Passes it over to Pedro Guilomar. Pedro with space. Cuts into Danny. Danny almost losing it once more. Great pass right here. Trying to find Ernie. Great through ball here for Eastlake. Wins it again. It's going to be another shot in. Goal! For Eastlake soccer, that's three in a matter of minutes. And it seems like those through balls have definitely worked out for Eastlake soccer. 3-0, 26 minutes into this game. And you see Maddie over here talking to Brent Suniga. Needing to change something already. Looks like we're going to have a substitution early on. And it's going to be Pal Palota coming in, and it's going to be Pedro Golomar coming out. And you know, if you're Pedro, you're probably frustrated. You don't get a lot of minutes already into this team. And Pedro's going to be a player to ask why to be taking out early. It didn't seem like a lot of those plays were his mistake. Coach Matty seems to disagree, trying to fix something. Put his brother Pal Palatok into the game. Man with the ball. Eric over. Back to Andrew. Andrew takes on the player, takes on the wing. Passes back to Luke. 
Luke tries to send it over. Eric trying to fight for it. And San Diego Inter seemed to get it lost again. And here comes East Lake Soccer. Trying to take advantage of a desperate San Diego Inter. Great through ball over on the right side. Castro Bean manages to win that over. And that's what you got to do if you're San Diego Inter. You got to win those one-on-ones. Because if you don't, then we see how deadly East Lake Soccer can be. It looks like it's going to be another long throw-in from East Lake Soccer. And when you have a player that can do that, why not use it? Brent Suninga winning that. Long shot over, wide right to the goal of Austin. Who takes another breather, tries to play it quick, passes it over to Brent Short. Again, a lot of mistakes that San Diego Internacional have made. Here comes some ball over to Austin. Passes to short. Back to Cass. Putting Cass in trouble there. Losing the ball early. And so far, it's not a good look for San Diego Internacional. We've been covering San Diego Internacional for about three and a half years, four years now. This has to be by far one of the best teams that have been built in the last two, three seasons for San Diego Internacional. Probably one of the worst performances I've seen from them as well. Ernie winning the ball. Clears it out. Doesn't want any trouble. He said, get it out of here. Let's reshape. Inter trying to pressure. Danny Stroke is desperately trying to make something happen. Brand winning the ball over, giving it away, though. And at this rate, Danny Stroke is, is just going to tire himself out completely. He already looks a little gassed. Referee said the ball went out. It's going to be a throwing for East Lake Soccer. Cash for being winning it over, and it's going to be another throw in. It looks like they're going to get big number 13 again to throw it into the box. Here comes a long throw in. See if it finally works out for East Lake. Almost gets a shot off. Castro Bean tries to clear it out, takes the ball over, clears it out. And it's going to be a San Diego Inter throw in. And if you're Matty Pal Palatine, you got to think okay, what am I going to tell these players at halftime? What changes am I going to make? Brandt winning the ball there. Kasher being not the best clearance, giving it away. Here comes a shot. Brent Suniga there again to clear it out. And I think if it wasn't for Brent, this game would probably be 6 nothing right now. Andrew with the ball. Great through ball over to Ernie. Ernie cannot win it. My apologies. That was Ollie. If you're as the Inter, you're looking for at least one before the half, giving you some sort of hope. Yeah. 
Back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper unfaced. Passes it over to the left side. Looks like we're going to get a long ball again. Not the best long ball, but still Brent soon you guys there fighting for it, protecting it until it goes out. Eric Lyon passes it over to Luke. It's going to be a foul call on East Lake. Eric over on the left. Ollie, he moved back over to the center position. Ernie winning the ball there. It gives Papalotok some time. Pass it through over to Luke. Luke asking for a foul, and the foul is going to be given. The referee hesitating, and it is going to be a yellow card on the captain for East Lake Soccer. I think the referee needed confirmation from his side referees to ask for a second opinion if that should have been a given a yellow. Ball goes through. Goalkeeper wins it over Danny Strakis. Looks like another great chance. Counterattack for East Lake Soccer. Turns back. Passes it over to number 11. 11. Again, short. Down the wing. Number 9 takes it. Number 3 can overlap. He's not going to go with that option. Passes it across. Papalotak wins it, but then loses it again. Great chance here for East Lake. Takes on one. Takes on two. Brent Suninga with the tackle. Ball goes back. East Lake Soccer still with the pressure on top. And it is going to be a ball for SD Inter. Again, this referee is taking a minute to make their decisions. Need to be a little faster when it comes to a fast-paced game like this. Ball over to Brent Suniga. Brent almost loses it. Back to Austin. Austin back to Brent. Brent gets the ball in. Andrew with the ball back to Luke. And it looks like Brent might have gotten injured. He did yell when he kicked the ball. He's down on the floor right now. Has been running more than usual, more than what we've seen him. Looks like he's going to be okay. Limping a little bit. And that would be a huge, huge, huge blow for SD Inter if they lose their captain, Brent Zuniga. Tells Coach Matty Palpalotak that he's okay. He's good to go. But that would be probably the worst thing that could happen to San Diego Internacional. 37 minutes into this match. Probably looking at about two minutes at a time. Brent with the ball again. Over to Cass. Cass with the ball. Made a couple mistakes early in this game already that cost the team a couple goals. Daniel Stroke is again. Back to Cass. Foul here if I as the Inter.
Set piece here for East Lake Soccer. Looking to cross it in. Great ball. Daniel Stroke is interferes there. One of the highlights of his performance so far. Ollie tries to switch it over. Gets intercepted again. And it's just silly mistakes like that that are costing San Diego Inter the chances from creating something. Back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper. Fakes it over, passes it over to the left. Here comes the switch over. Pal Paltok steals it. Tries to give it to Luke. Luke. Back to the goalkeeper. Goalkeeper with a bad touch. Clears it out desperately. He's like steals it here. Wow, and again, asking for another yellow card. Ref telling the players to move it back a little bit. And a very comfortable lead for East Lake Soccer. Gives them the time and opportunities to really do whatever they want in this game. Great one-two passing over to number nine. Takes the shot, and it's going to be into the uprights for another three points. Another short kick. And again, Daniel Stroke is. I'm not too sure what he's trying to do with that. Gives it away. Luke wins the ball. Tries to pass it over to Ernie. Luke steals it, and it's going to be a chance for a one-on-one -on -one with the last defender. Pass it over to the right, to the left. Ollie here with the finish. Ollie, Ollie tries it. Goalkeeper with the save. Looked like that could have been the best chance for SD Inter to get one off the board and could not finish it there. And he's like trying to answer right back with a quick play. Lots of space here. Eric trying to cross that. Cambio de juego, hermoso. Here comes Eastlake. Over on the wing. Cross it in. Has space for a shot. Passes it back. Great pass here, Eastlake. Asking for an offside. At this point, Eastlake just towing with San Diego Inter. Great cross here. Papal talk with the clearance. And it's going to be a foul from Eastlake. Paul Tuck putting his body on the line there. But at this point, Eastlake's really doing whatever they want on that up third. I got a comment saying if he was an ex-loyal player putting those assists from the back. Cannot confirm just yet, and we'll let you know. We'll find out at halftime. Three minutes left into this first half, plus whatever the referee wants to add. And East Lake Soccer is up 3 nothing. The battle of first place versus second place, and he's like so far proving to be the better team out there. Look, winning the ball over to Andrew. No foul there. Hard foul from Eastlake. Could be seeing at a yellow card here. It's going to be the second yellow card of the game for Eastlake Soccer League. Captain talking to the referee, saying that the play before was a foul from Luke. Captain doing his job, talking to the referee. That's a good chance for SD Inter. Cross comes in. 
He's like with the clearance. It's going to be a corner kick for San Diego Inter. Plays it quick. Here comes a cross for his Inter. Nothing there again. The defender is just winning it. Desperate kick up. Goalkeeper clears it out with his hands. Chance for his, the Inter here. Andrew wins it. And here comes a clearance from San Diego from East Lake Soccer. Brandt again trying to clear it and creates the space and now can calmly win the ball. Great switch over to Pal Palatok. Back to Ollie. Ollie back to Cass. That's going to be a foul for San Diego Inter. Ollie getting handsy there, getting upset. It has to be from the frustrations. It's not the best feeling when you're down 3 0 in the first half. Not too sure what the holdup was, but play resumes now. Kevin with the ball. Back to Brandt. Cass with the ball. Daniel Stroke is now again. Back to Cass. Back to Kevin. Seems like that switch of Kevin and Ernie of positions kind of worked out from Coach Pal Palatok. Ernie winning it there. And it's going to be an offside for San Diego Inter. We're past the 45 minute mark. All this is out of time now. And calling for it. Again, Daniel Stroke is not with the best clearances. And the referee calls it a minute at it into the second half. That's the end of the first half. East Lake Soccer up three. San Diego Inter zero. We'll be back with coverage of the second half. And we'll see if San Diego Internacional can change something and get on the score line. We'll be back for the second half.
And we are back for the second half here at Mission Bay High School. East Lake is up 3 nothing against San Diego Internacional. Felt like a long half. Coach Matty Pal Paltzok had a great conversation with his team. We're going to see and find out if it's any different this time. Ball rolls up. Here comes the last 45 minutes of this match. Lots of catching up to do if you're San Diego Inter. And if you're Eastlake, you have a chance to just keep adding to your to your lead. We know goal difference ends up mattering in the UPSL. Great ball over for Ollie. Tries to win it. Cannot get enough on it. Great kick over to the left side of the wing. Passes it a little too late. It's going to go to the hands of Austin. Austin over to Cass. Cass with space. Tries to force it through. Okay, not the best first half for Danny Stroke is or Cash Ravine. Here comes Captain Brandt. Probably the best player in the first half for San Diego Inter. <clears throat> well, is that a, is a chance for East Lake here? Takes over on the wing. Holds it and passes it back in the middle. Here comes a shot deflected by San Diego Inter. It's going to be a chance for Andrew to take it up. We know he's got speed. Back to Luke. Back to Andrew. East Lake steals the ball great in the midfield. It's going to be another pass back for the center back. It's like, again, playing the possession game. Why not? You're up 3 nothing. as the Inter trying to high press. He's like getting out of it. Great pass here. Takes one on. Sends the ball. Looks to be offside. Referee still hasn't raised the flag. Pan space. One-on-one. Pop -on -one. talk. Gets the coverage. And it's going to be a corner kick for East Lake Soccer. Seems like that could have been offsides. The referee disagrees, waves it off. Those of you watching, interested in finding out what the San Diego soccer score is, it's four minutes left in the fourth quarter, tied 4-4 four -four against Chihuahua Savage. We always like to keep tabs over where our great Tony Sanchez is doing. Comes a chance for San Diego, for East Lake soccer to up their lead to four. Here comes a corner kick. Clearance from Cass Rubin. And we're going to see another long throw in. Hasn't worked out for East Lake just yet. Could this be the one? Long throwing comes in. Cass headers it back. Looks like it's Danny Strokas that gets a part of it. And it's Brent again going down. Brent just doesn't seem to be doing okay there. Looks like he might have been gotten caught in the face there. Got a little stunned. Looks like he's going to be okay to keep going. We're going to have a corner kick here for East Lake Soccer. Here 
comes the corner kick for East Lake. Great clearance. San Diego pushes up lines and ball goes back to the goalkeeper. Keeper gets work to send it over. Easily got numbers on top, and it's here. there's a deflection for a chance, and it's going to be a great save by Austin. Great save to keep the lead at three, and it's going to be another corner kick for Eastlake Soccer. Here comes across. San Diego clears it. Ball goes to Eastlake as well. Great pass inside. It's Daniel Stroke is fighting for it. Can't win it. Ernie with the ball. Ernie takes it up now. Trying to find someone to give it to. Foul given by the referee. Ernie plays it quickly. Over to Kevin. Kevin plays it to Eric on the right side. Back to Kevin. Kevin trying to move the ball around. Great through ball here for Andrew. Back to Kevin. Gives it to Eric. Eric's going to cross the ball here. Gives it away. The East Lake defense wins it, and it's going to be a clearance now. Brand doing a great job winning there. Daniel Stroke is with the ball. Back to Kevin. Now it goes to Cass. To Pal Palatok. Wins the ball there. Ref says keep playing. No foul given. And it was a dangerous place by Pal Palatok, but he wins the ball. It's going to be a foul by number 10 from East Lake. He's the one that got knocked up with that foul. Play. Great through ball. Luke trying to find the move. And it's going to be a yellow card here for Ollie, number 17. Cannot believe that he's getting yellow card there. Play finally resumes, and it's going to be a Long kick here for East Lake, playing the long ball game, and it's been working out for them. I want to say East Lake quickly figure out you weren't going to get past through Brent, so you start sending the long balls over on the left side of the defense. Back when Pedro Dormai was still in, and Castro Bean, a couple of them got away, and which led to some goals for East Lake soccer. Brandt winning the ball here. Ernie with some space. Pass that over to Ollie. Ollie trying to go one on one. Cuts in. Back to Ernie. Ernie trying to win the ball again. Gets the shot off and it's going to go wide or right. Wide left with the goalkeeper. Goal kick for Eastlake Soccer. Long clearance here from the goalkeeper for Eastlake. Ball goes over Eric. Eric wins it. Back to Austin. Tries to pass it over to Pal Palatok. Headers it over. Ball went out of bounds, and it's going to be a throwing for Eastlake soccer. And 
And the ref talking to Ollie again. Ollie's saying, I didn't do anything. Long, long, no long throw in for Eastlake here. Ernie takes on one. Back to the goalkeeper. Takes on one. It's going to be a foul here. Not too sure if the referee will give a second yellow there. Just because you hit the goalkeeper does not mean it's going to be a yellow card, and it's going to be here. Ollie gets knocked up. And East Lakes is arguing with the referee, asking for that second yellow card. <laughs> Ollie limping off the field. For sure was a foul by Ollie. Not sure if it was intentional for him or this there's a second yellow. We're going to have a substitution. Ollie's coming off limping, and it's going to be Alessandro coming in. Sandro, who missed the last home match due to a red card. Back in the lineup. A power attack over to Luke. Luke to Kevin. Over to Andrew on the wing. Andrew has pace. Back to Eric. Lions crosses it in. Gets deflected. Great defense. And now it's going to be a foul on Danny Strokis. Sad referee kept saying, careful, careful, careful. He was not careful. And Kaz again passes it back over to Austin. Great header back. No mistakes this time. Austin plays it short to Cass. Cass plays the long ball over to Eric. It's going to be too much of a ball. Eric cannot get there. And telling his teammates to keep working. A lot of work still to do. Down 3 nothing. Wins the ball. Ernie arguing, saying he won the ball. I got to say, he might have gotten the ball first. He's like literally can do whatever they want with the ball. When you're up 3 nothing, you have the freedom to do anything. Be patient. Try new things. Great space here for Eastlake. Great still here by Andrew. Tries to place it over to Luke. Luke over to Kevin. Kevin kept us with the ball. Loses it over. Great defending there by Eastlake.
Looks like we're going to have a substitution by San Diego Inter. My eyes are not mistaken. Looks like that's So Griffin that's getting ready to come in. So Griffin can play on top, can play on the mid. At this point, I, I'm assuming you're going to use him a little higher on top, try to get a goal in. Sandro with the ball. Back to Danny. Danny, long ball over, looking for Eric on the right side. Eric, by two capas. Here comes Andrew. Andrew finds the cross in. Doesn't get anyone on that cross. Clearance by Eastlake Soccer. Casher Bean with the quick throw in. Now to Ernie. Ernie running into the defender. Stroke is losing the ball and it's going to be a ball for San Diego Internacional. Great ball here by Vapolita. Guts and gets interfered. Looks like a hard foul there. We might see a yellow card here. And if you've given other yellow cards, you'd assume this would be a yellow. Referee does not see it that way. Kepas plays a short to Cass. Cass over to Vapolita. Has space to send the cross in. Ball goes in. Great clearance by the defender. Ernie with the ball. Takes on one, takes on two, passes it into Andrew. Andrew trying to find space. Eric Lyons with the ball. Back to Capas. Back to Lyons. Switches it over to Sandro. Sandro with space. Finds the cross in to Luke. Luke finding the ball. Takes on one. Can't take on the second. Ernie winning the ball now. Asking for a foul. It's going to be a foul for San Diego Internacional outside the box. And if San Diego Inter wants to make something out of this game, they need to score soon. <coughs> if this result stands, East Lake Soccer goes on to still be undefeated. And this will be the first loss for San Diego Inter at home. Looks like Ernie's coming off. Three as the Inters lined up. Paolo Tuck, Sandro, and Capas. Is the Inter asking that the wall's a little too close? Here comes the chance for Is the Inter. Great shot, and it passes the post. That was a great chance by SD Inter. Very close to scoring their first one in the game. Going to be a goal kick for Eastlake Soccer. Short goal kick by East Lake. Long ball coming in. We're being seen. There's a whole match. Danny 
Danny with the ball now. Back to Cass Ravine. Cass with my Palatok. Small touch over. Luke finding someone. Back to Sandro. Back to Pop Palatok. Crosses it in. Luke trying his best to header that, and it's going to be wide of the goalkeeper's goal. Long goal kick here. Inter wins it, but now loses it. It's the Lions losing the ball there. Here comes a through ball. Foul by San Diego Internacional. Could be a good chance for East Lake Soccer to expand their lead. Here comes a good chance for East Lake Soccer to make a four. Goal kick players out of place to look for the rebound. Low driven cross here. Austin drops it, and it's going to be a goal by East Lake Soccer. Austin could not hang on to the ball there. It rebounds off, and it's just as a goalkeeper for East Lake predicted. Get the rebound there, and it's 4 0. East Lake Soccer. this point I want to say it's out of hand but we've seen crazier things happen in soccer Andrew trying to go one on one takes on the player goes out of bounds Referee calls a foul on Brandt. Looks like they're going to do another long ball in. Here comes the ball in. Cast couldn't win it. Ball is going to go out of bounds for a goal kick. And we're going to have a substitution by San Diego Internacional. It's going to be Andrew with the number seven coming off on the right wing. Probably had one of the best games tonight as well for as the Inter. Short goal kick here. Cash Rubin with the ball. Sends it up. Looking for someone, but gives it to the East Lake player. Takes the long shot in. And Danny Stroke is again trying to play the easy ball in, but no chance there. East Lake have completely dominated this game tonight. Especially with the long balls going through. Defensive mistake by SD Inter has cost them this match. Great 1-2 here by Eastlake. Eastlake, here comes a chance it's over the goal. It's going to be a goal kick by San Diego. I'm 
Mistake here. Another shot. Great save by Austin. At this point, the San Diego Internacional players completely look like they've given up. Foul here. The ref says keep it going. It is going to be a foul by Eastlake. Plays it quick. Danny. Back to Kevin. Kevin on the wing to Eric. Finding space here. Could this be a chance for the first for Inter? Low cross in. Defender gets in the way. Clears it out. It's not going to be the first. As the Inter plays it on, the ref says, wait, it's going to be a substitution from Eastlake. I believe this might be the first substitution we see as everyone wants on half. Eighteen minutes left in this game. That's gonna be another foul by San Diego Inter. Brent getting frustrated now. The referee tells him to stop. Brent wants an explanation from the referee. And it's gonna be a yellow card for Brent soon you got here. Not a lot of chances created in the second half by both teams, but again, East Lake Soccer had already a very nice lead of 3 nothing. You'd want a sense of urgency coming into this half from SD Inter, but we didn't see that either. Mistake here by Kevin, passes it over to East Lake. Great shot here to the hands of Austin, secures it in, plays it quick over to So Griffin on the right wing position. So passes it in. Back to Brent. Brent over to Cass. Kevin over to Brent. Paul Tuck passes it through. It's an interception by Eastlake. Long ball over. It's a one on two here. Left side's completely open. Passes it over to the left side. Comes a chance for Eastlake. Here comes the shot. Takes it in and over the goalkeeper's goal. It's going to be a goal kick for San Diego Inter. That was another chance by Eastlake to make it five. Plays a short to Danny. Danny again with the clearance, getting deflected. There's going to be a chance here for Eastlake. Brent Sunyan got with the tackle, winning the ball first. And the referee is going to stop the ball here. Not sure why stopping the play. It was clean.
Looks like the player still down. Brent might have gotten some contact on him after getting the ball first. Seen many plays like that before. Well, he's going to resume now. Ball goes over to Sandro. Sandro in between two. Doesn't give the best pass. Eric Lyons intercepts. Now it's back to Sandro. Sandro back to Cass. Cass lops it up to Papalatok. Loses the ball now. Gonna have a throw in here by East Lake Soccer. If you haven't done so already, go check out East Lake Soccer League over at the Old Tide Ranch Mall. Great soccer league. Find friends, make a team happen, go out there. Games happen every game of the week and the weekends. Sandro stealing the ball here, fighting between two, losing the ball now. Great pressure from Sandro, winning the ball for San Diego Inter on a throw-in. Pal talk passes short to Cass. Cass looking for the long ball over to Sol Griffin. Great pass by Cass. So with the ball now. Passes it back, but there's no one there. No one there to help Sol Griffin. Easily cuts in. At this point, all Eastlake has to do is just keep moving the ball around, killing the clock. They can go home, st still undefeated. As a short Zana be off sites now. With the terrible long ball now. Followed by San Diego Inter. Looks like it might have been a foul on East Lake. As the Inter choosing to play a short. Great ball here. Looks like it's Danny. Danny with the shot. No, my apologies. That was Luke. He doesn't get the shot off right. Danny winning the ball here for San Diego now. Oh, with the ball, trying to give it over to Luke. Ball gets cleared out. Sandro passing on the player. Asking for a foul. Takes on two. Takes on three. Gets the shot off. Gets deflected. It's going to be Luke. 
Doesn't get there, and Eastlake plays it quickly, trying to get the counterattack on. It's going to be too much from the goalkeeper there. Here comes the ball. Is the Inter trying to find something, trying to get on the score sheet at least. Defender almost slips up, clears it out on time. The pass worked out for Eastlake. Bringing it down, Papalotok manages to run back, get the ball, cast back to Kevin. Kevin running, finding Sandro. Nope, plays it over to Danny. Luke gives, loses the ball there. And he's like again with space and time. It's going to be a ball for San Diego. Oh, my apologies. It's going to be for East Lake. It's going to be Captain Brent Sunia coming off. Eight minutes left into this game. Was they taking out a center back, putting in an attacking player? Might be a little too late to make the substitution. Again, Coach Matty Palpalotok trying to see what he can do to at least get on the score sheet. Sandra with the ball now. Sends it over. No one there. Now goalkeeper can hang on to it. So Griffin going to apply some pressure. Goalkeeper picks it up. The captain, the center back, getting up on the offense now. I think at this point, both teams just want the game to end, go home. And have a longest throw in. Sandra fighting for the ball, trying to win it. Great clearance here, and it's going to be the ball over to Sol Griffin. Passes it over. And as the Inter just trying to get one, trying to get on the score sheet. Sandra with the ball now. Back to Kevin. And again, another bad touch. Miscommunication there. And I win the ball. Here comes on the right wing. Chance for a cross here. Cross it with his left foot. Great, great header back by Danny Strokis. Over to the goalkeeper, Austin. Austin plays it quickly over to Sol. So brings the ball down. Settles it back. Back to Danny. Danny switching it over to Cass. Kevin okay, losing the ball here now. And here comes a chance for East Lake. This is looking like it could be the fifth of the game. Takes on one, takes on two. These are Asla, Asla, Asla. 
Y sale el churrito aquí. Austin with the ball. Back again to Soap. Playing it quickly. Austin, the only one in the Inter squad playing with some sort of urgency now. Ball over to Luke. Inter losing the ball again. And he's like saying, okay, let's pass it back now. Let's cool it down. Goalkeeper over on the left side. Something I've noticed about East Lake is the great communication they have. For a brand new young team, it sure has like they've been playing together for years now. Great move here. Another great pass, and East Lake just towing around with San Diego Inter at this point. Asian there, se vale solar. Danny Stroke is here with the clearance. Three minutes left into this match. Not sure if the referee will decide to add anything. He added one minute in the first half. It's going to be a ball. It's going to be a foul by San Diego Inter. So o Griffin winning the ball here. Great clearance from East Lake. A oh, great touch here by the East Lake player. Not the best touch here. Eric Lyons with the ball now. Back to Kevin. Kevin switches it over to Cass. Cass getting pressure by two players. Finding space here with Pal Palatok. Maybe another foul by SD Inter. The referee is not letting them play now. Never became a really physical game. The referee calling a lot of the plays. Look to be a slip and the ref calls it again. We're down to the last minute here of the match. Another foul by Danny Strokis. At this rate, the referee is calling a foul every 20 seconds. And the referee calls the game. East Lake Soccer League takes the lead 4 0 over San Diego Internacional. East Lake remains undefeated in the season. 
And San Diego Inter gets their first loss at home. And thank you for tuning in into this match. This is Alejandro Chiva Villaseñor from San Diego Football. Thank you to everyone. We'll see you next 